Hi everybody, Bor Schlossberg. Today I'm gonna to walk you through how to download and install MetaTrader 5 platform. And the first order of business is for you to log into your secure client area and actually request a MetaTrader 5 account. Now you can request a live account or a demo account. I've already done so as you can see, and I got my account all ready to go. Once you request the account, Pepperstone is going to send you an email and it will give you the details of the account, including the account trading number, the password, the initial password they give you, and the MT5 server URL. Very important information that's going to allow you then to be able to log into the account. So you've gotten this email, you've requested the new account. Now let's go back and into the client server area, into the download section. Click this button over here. And once we get into the download section, the button you want to click, the software you want, is the MetaTrader 5 for Windows. Now, if you have a Mac, you could download the Mac version, but frankly, I don't know the full functionality of the Mac version. As a matter of fact, I'm recording this on a Mac, but I'm logged into a virtual private network that is working on a Windows platform. MetaTrader 5 is a Windows-based software. So if you're going to download it to your own computer, I highly recommend you use a Windows-based version because that's really the full functioning version that I'm going to be demoing over here. So you click this button over here, you're going to get the Pepperstone executable over here, and then you just simply double-click that and let the whole thing set itself up into your account. Once we've done that, I'm going to show you how to log into your MT5 and then be able to change your password. So we'll come back in just one second. Okay, we've downloaded MetaTrader 5. It's installed a little icon on our Windows desktop and now we've opened it up. And the first time you're gonna open it up, it's gonna ask you, it's gonna be normally searching for what broker you wanna set this up with, and it's gonna obviously give you the Pepperstone Group Limited or the UK number. Ignore all that. We already have our information, and we're gonna simply install it, um, given our information that we've gotten in our email. So instead of that, we're gonna say cancel, and we're gonna go into, this This is the same menu that's gonna pop up, but we're gonna uh, go into file, Actually, let me just do this cancel again so you guys can see it. What we're going to do is going to say cancel. We're going to go into login to trade account, and it's going to pop up exactly that little window. So now, now my account is 16346, and then I have a password, which is a convoluted little password they've given me. And then you can either have the server uh, Pepperstone demo default, or if you wanted to, to be really certain that you have it correctly, then you want to just type in this server URL that we copied. Remember, it was mt5-demo01.pepperstone.com. If you type this in, then you're assured that you're going to be able to log into your account properly. So I'm going to say, okay. And Incoming mail. Boom. We're in business. As you can see, we um, are in the account, and now we're getting live quotes. You know, Euros trading 1390, uh, Cable's trading 75, Swissy and Yen uh, trading above the 1300. So we're in business now. We have all of our accounts ready to go. Now, as I said to you, the initial password you get is very convoluted. And suppose you wanted to create a much more usable friendly password. There are two ways to do this. Let me show you how. The first order of business to do this is you can do it inside MetaTrader itself. You're going to go into the Tools menu, you're going to go into the Options menu, and then you're going to go into the Server, right over here, Server tab, right? Now, to change your password, you simply click this Change button, and then you type in your current password, then you want to type in your new password, and you want to confirm. Okay, that's the way you would do it in a MetaTrader 5. Then you would log in, log, log out, log in, and you're back in business. Another way of doing it, which is very, very simple, is to do it from your secure client area. I'm just going to cancel out of here, cancel out of here, and let's go back to our secure client area. So I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to go into my accounts. We get into our accounts, and you can do it literally from the website. So the way you would do this, remember this is my demo account, right? So the way we would do this is we would hit our settings right over here, this little settings gear, and it will say change trading password, okay? Change trading account password. So we can click this,
and I'll change my password to Boris123, Boris123, um, and then confirm it to be able to do this. Now, I've already done this, but you know, let me just go through the motions here. Boris123, I recommend you do something a lot better than Boris123, but the point is that you can change it any way you like it. You would hit submit, and then instantaneously, the new password would take, and you'd be able to log in with a, a much simpler, much cleaner password. So let's assume we've done that. I'm going to go back to the MetaTrader 5, right? And let's log out of the account and log back in, right? So let's just say we're going to uh, log into trade account, uh, same account. We're going to say, I'm going to rename, I'm going to say Boris123, uh, say OK. And boom, as you can see, we're logged back into the account and ready to do business. That's how simple and easy it is to download, install, and change the password in your MetaTrader 5 software.